If you're new to the iPhone or a senior citizen and you just got your first iPhone and you're trying to figure out how to use it, then this video is for you. The iPhone is a revolutionary device, a powerful computer in your pocket, but it can be a little intimidating if you're used to using the old flip phone. So this is the first video and what will become a series of basic, easy to understand videos on how to use your iPhone. Each video will contain five tips to help you master your new iPhone. If this is a series that you think will help you, be sure to click the subscribe button and tap that little bell so you'll be notified when the next video is released. As I planned out the series, it became obvious that each new video would need to build upon the prior video. Sometimes just jumping into a feature without knowing any context can be confusing. And my goal is to make it easy, not confusing. So, in this first video, we'll focus on five basic tips related to setting up your iPhone. And these tips are once and done. Set it and forget it. And while these are really basic settings, if you don't get these things tweaked to your liking, you'll forever be annoyed when you use your iPhone. So, here are the five tips we're going to cover today. Screen brightness, auto lock, text size, bold text, and display zoom. Let's get started. Okay, the first tip I wanna to talk to you about is screen brightness. You know, sometimes you're outside and the sun is out and the screen is just not bright enough to see very well, or maybe you're home and it's evening and the screen is just too bright and you need to adjust the brightness. Um, the easiest and quickest way to do that is using Control Center. So from your home screen, just swipe down from the right corner and use the slider to turn the brightness up and down. Now you can also do this through um, the Settings app. So the Settings app is the little silver gray icon with the gear in it. And if you tap on that and go to Display Brightness, you can just change it here as well. But as you can see, that's a whole lot more work to do that than it is to just simply swipe down from the right and change it there. But that's an easy and quick way to change the screen brightness. So the next tip has to do with auto lock. Auto lock is when your screen, after a certain amount of time, goes dark. And sometimes you want your screen to be on longer than other times. Sometimes you want your screen to be on shorter than other times. Um, you don't want to be working and looking at your iPhone and the screen go dark. So how you um, set that up is again you go into settings, you go into display and brightness, you scroll down till you get to auto lock and here you can choose the amount of time your screen will stay on. Keeping in mind that the longer you keep your screen on the more battery you burn. So I typically keep mine on one or two minutes, which is actually pretty long, but I just get frustrated when it goes off in the middle of me doing something. Um, but um, I've got it set to five minutes now because I'm filming this video and I don't want it to go dark on me. But here is where you set that up. And so just set that up to, to reflect how you use your iPhone. And that's how you use auto lock. The next tip I want to talk to you about is text size. So sometimes the text on the screen can be too small to read and it would be really handy if it could be just a little bit bigger. So the easy way to do that is again to go into settings, go into display and brightness, and scroll down till you get to text size. And here you have a slider at the bottom and if you'll look at this text right here, you can make it very small, which is not good for me, or you can make it much bigger which is better for me. So that's how you set the text size. And you know, you can play around with it till you get it to where you want it to be. But once you do get the text size to the size you want it to be, it's just so much easier when you use your iPhone that you can actually read what's on the screen. But that's how you deal with text size. Okay, the next tip has to do with bold text. So not only can you change the size of the text, but you can make the text bold as well. And when it's bold and darker, sometimes it's just easier to read. So again, how you set this up is you go to settings, 
you go to display and brightness, you scroll down till you get to bold text, and if you'll watch the text over here, when I turn this on, just hit that button, it becomes bold. And as you can see, frankly, it's just easier to read. So that is how you set up bold text. Okay, the last tip I want to give you is on display zoom. And this uh, deals with how big these icons are that are on your home screen. Sometimes you want more icons on your home screen and you want them to be a little bit smaller. Sometimes you would rather have larger icons on your home screen so you can see what you're tapping on. How you set the size of those is in settings. So again, we go back to settings. We go to display and brightness once again, and we scroll all the way down till we come to display zoom at the bottom and you tap that. And here you can see the two examples. On the right is a zoomed view with slightly larger icons. And on the left is the standard view with slightly smaller icons. Here you can see if you had a text message, it would be a little bit bigger, you know, um, and it's just a little bit easier to see. I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max, which has the biggest screen that you can get. So I just leave mine on zoomed. It's just way easier for me to see things. And that is how you work with display zoom. I hope you found these uh, five basic setup tips helpful. I know if you get these things in place in the beginning, it'll make using your iPhone much more of a pleasure than a chore. And don't get frustrated with it. Just take your time and get these things set up the way you like it. And once you've got them set up, everything becomes a breeze after that. I hope you found these tips helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.